Hi everyone, it's Erin from the Provincial Farmhouse. Today I'm doing a video for the Paint Couture creative team. For today's project, I'm going to be showing you some of the ways that you can decorate Easter eggs using Paint Couture products. I'm going to be working with foam eggs and I'm going to be using a hat pin and just sticking that into the base so that I can more easily hold my eggs and paint them. I'm going to be using quite a few products, so I'm going to prime my eggs with Paint Couture's 2-in-1 Primer in grey. I'm going to apply it with a makeup sponge in a dabbing and stippling motion. This is going to create some lovely texture. Paint Couture's 2-in-1 Primer is not only a bonding primer, but it also blocks stains. I'm just going to be doing one even coat on each of my eggs and then letting them dry for about an hour. For my first egg, I'm going to take Paint Couture's Sugar Plum Mineral Paint and I'm going to apply that paint using a small artist brush. And it's going to take two coats to get the coverage that I want. I'm using foam eggs today because they are what I had in my craft stash. However, all of the techniques that I'm showing you today can be used on any type of egg, for example, plastic. So as long as you include that priming step first, then you will be good to use all of these wonderful products over the top. For my second egg, I'm going to be using Paint Couture's Purple Haze Chalk Paint. And again, I'm just applying it with a small artist brush and I am going to do two coats. And you'll notice that I sort of apply the paint and I change directions to make sure that I'm getting coverage. But then I do go back and do a light sweeping stroke just to get all of my brush strokes going in the same direction. This just helps that paint to dry evenly. I'm then going to be using Paint Couture's Abundance Mineral Paint on my third egg. So we have three different beautiful colorful eggs that I'm going to be using the same technique on, but I thought it would be fun to see how it looks on a variety of colors. When my eggs are dry, I'm going to take Paint Couture's Crackle Step 1 and I'm going to go around the eggs and I am going to apply that product in sort of random spots. Ultimately, we are using Crackle Step 1 as a glue because we're going to be adding some gold leafing. So as I'm applying this, I'm really thinking, where do I want that gold leaf to stick? So if you're going to try this, it will be up to you as to how much you add, what kind of a pattern you add it in. Once it's dry, it is tacky to the touch. I'm going to take these gold leaf flakes that I had in my stash and I'm just going to pour them out into a little plastic container trying to stay a little bit tidy here and then I'm just going to roll my egg in the, that gold leaf and start spreading it around with a paintbrush. I will say that there were a few times where I came into contact with the plastic container underneath and unfortunately I had some of that paint get pulled off because that crackle step one is so strong and sticky. So just make sure that you are keeping that sticky surface away from other surfaces so you don't have that issue. It is easily fixable. I'll just add a little bit more step one and I'll come in with that gold leaf. So you can see I've got the gold leaf on there and then I'm just using my brush to brush off any excess and any areas that I've missed. I'm just coming in with a little bit more of it. Once I'm finished with the sugar plum egg, we're going to move on to our purple haze egg. And again, just applying that crackle step one in any of the areas that I want my gold leaf to stick. Once that product is dry, I am coming in with some more of that gold leaf and it is just sticking so beautifully. So definitely keep Crackle Step 1 in mind if you are wanting to add gold leaf to any of your projects. It is the perfect product to use if you're wanting to use this technique. You'll notice by now that I am starting to use my hands and I definitely had a lot of fun getting a bit hands on with this particular step. And again, that Crackle Step 1 is just doing a wonderful job at holding on to that gold leaf. If I inspire you to try any of these wonderful Paint Couture products, I would really appreciate it if you would use my affiliate link. I will put it in the description and on the screen. I just get a little thank you from Paint Couture in return. For our third egg painted in abundance, I've already added the Crackle Step 1 and it has dried and I'm just going to start applying that lovely gold leaf over the top. 
I kept my Crackle Step 1 application pretty random, but you could definitely be a bit more purposeful with it. You could come in and maybe make lines almost like marble so that the gold followed along almost like the veins on the egg, or you could perhaps do some stenciling and some patterns. It just depends what look you're after. I was going for a bit more of a random look. And here are our finished gold leaf eggs. For our next eggs, I'm going to be using the Lux Metallic range. So this is the Lavender Lux Metallic paint. It is a lovely light purple. You can see as I'm applying it, I'm putting it on pretty thick and I'm also going to be making sure that all of my brush strokes are going in the same direction. And as I'm doing two coats, this really created quite a lovely ripple effect in certain lights. For our next egg, I'm going to be using Paint Couture's Lilac. This is a darker purple. And again, I'm applying it pretty thickly, keeping those brush strokes the same direction and achieving quite a beautiful ripple effect. These Lux Metallics are so highly pigmented and beautiful. And remember, they do get more vibrant as they dry. For our final egg there, I'm going to use Paint Couture's French Gold Heavy Metal Metallic. Again, I'm applying two coats here and I just love how richly pigmented these heavy metal metallics are. I loved this color so much that I ended up painting an additional two mini Easter eggs in this beautiful French gold. And here are our finished Lux Metallic Easter eggs. For my final project today, I'm going to be using Paint Couture's Crackle Step 1 on each of these Easter eggs and I'm giving each of them a coat over the entire egg. We need a lot of that stickiness, a lot of that tackiness for the next product that we're going to be using and we are going to be bringing a little bit of bling to this Easter project. When the eggs were dry, I took Paint Couture's Pure Silver German Glass Glitter and I am going to just dip my egg into that beautiful glitter and start getting that glitter adhered. So the Crackle Step 1 works really, really well here. You can see it's already sticking really well. I also then grabbed a little spatula just to help me get some more of that glitter out and onto all of those other spaces there on that egg. You can see I also have a little tray underneath there as well to catch any of the falling glitter that doesn't make it back in the container. I don't want to waste any of this. This stuff is so gorgeous and it doesn't just come in the silver. We are going to use another color shortly but there are a lot of other colors to choose from and I'm just adding it over the entire piece and as I said that crackle step one is doing a great job of adhering the beautiful silver glitter. Once I think I have most of the areas covered, I just did a light little tap to make sure I released any loose glitter. And now we can move on to another one of the eggs. We're going to use sheer frost German glass glitter. We've already got that crackle step one on there and it's dried. So we're just going to dip that egg in and also use the spatula to spread some of that beautiful sheer frost all over it. This is definitely more of a subtle look, this one. So if you are a bit more of a neutral person, this could be a way for you to bring in some sparkle and shine while still not going over the top. Again, if you're going to try this, just remember to have a little tray or something underneath so that you can make sure that you can tidy up that glitter and get any of that excess back into your container so that you're not wasting any of it. Once I'm happy with the coverage, I'm going to do a little bit of a tap there to release any loose glitter. And here's a look at our German glass glitter Easter eggs.
I really hope that you've enjoyed today's video and that you've been inspired to try some of these techniques to create some beautiful Easter decor for your home. Let me know if you had a favorite project from today. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button and comment and share it out to a friend. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any videos from the Paint Couture creative team. Thanks for watching.